Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Michael from madbagger.com. Today we are going to be doing the second part of the March 2022 catalog. This segment will consist of the Loungefly wallets and the crossbodies. So if you're interested in learning more about and looking at the details on the March 2022 wallets and crossbodies, you're going to want to hang out with us for this video. All right, guys, let's go check them out. Let's go ahead and see what Loungefly has done for the March 2022 catalog for wallets and purses. Let's get started here. Furry first wallet is going to be the Batman wallet. Okay, this looks like it is a three quarter size or half size zip around wallet. This is going to be the matching wallet for the mini backpack that's also came out this month. This one has, uh, looks like some appliques going on on the front there with uh, Batman's body armor. It's got the really cool Batman logo on the front. Uh, looks like Loungefly hardware, which we expect usually from the core catalog. Uh, we also have um, on the back is they did a little bit different enamel badge. They did it the Batman. Uh, most of the time they put Loungefly on there somewhere. The only other brand I've seen them not put Loungefly on was going to be for um, the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. This one's going to be black, vegan leather, and it looks like you also have bats on the back of this one. This is going to be the inside of the Batman wallet. This is, should have the same matching lining as the backpack. This one has got a really nice vibrant color with the Batman on uh, an all over print on the inside. Looks like you also have a clear window for your picture ID. The clear window will have a cutout of the Batman logo, which is neat. I love it when they do those kind of little details. And you got several slots there for um, cards, and there's usually a slot behind the cards for money. Okay, this is a Winnie the Pooh gingham style. This is actually going to be a real-life photo of the product. This one is really cute. It's going to be mostly yellow with that plaid kind of print on the front. You have uh, some embroidery going on in black around uh, the eyes and the nose. Little cosplay ears coming up off the top. This one looks like it's probably a snap closure just by kind of looking at it. Usually when it has that zipper across the top like that, usually it's a snap closure. And then that zipper there is going to be like a pocket for change. Okay, the backside, they did a contrasting color. The red uh, plaid print also with the Disney yellow lounge fly enamel badge. Looks really nice. Here is our Tigger cosplay wallet. This one is pretty cool. I love this Tigger backpack that goes with this. Okay, this one's going to have, again, Tigger ears as a vegan leather applique coming off the sides. You have some embroidery. Mostly looks like black going to be embroidery. That pink and that light uh, cream color is probably going to be printed. This one looks like the same silhouette as the Winnie the Pooh, back, uh, the Winnie the Pooh wallet. It does have that uh, zipper across the top there, so it makes me think that this one is a snap closure. Backside there is going to have the Disney Loungefly enamel badge. Nice orange color. You have tig uh, Tigger's stripes on the back. Those are more than likely going to be printed on. Oh, man, I love this. Okay, so the colors that they did on this are amazing. I cannot believe that they can work that kind of color into some leather like this. Okay, guys, so this is going to be the Jungle Book uh, wallet. Now, this one looks like it's a half-size zip-around, and the colors are gorgeous. We have some embroidery on the florals. You got Mowgli and Baloo in the river. My kids, they absolutely love this uh, this movie. They love the soundtrack. They love it, love it a lot. They sing it all the time. Okay, the backside here, you're going to have the Disney Loungefly enamel badge in a nice soft green color. Looks like maybe some more. I can't tell if those florals are printed or embroidered. I know the ones on the front, they definitely look embroidered. The backside here, nice jungle scene with Ka coming out of the tree. Again, this is going to be a zip-around wallet. Okay, this is going to be the Mulan Castle Series wallet. This one looks really nice. So the Mulan Castle Series backpack has LEDs. This one is not, the, of course, they, don't, they have never done LEDs on wallets, which might be a little too much anyways. But this one does have a really gorgeous, vibrant, printed uh, style of the Emperor's Castle right there on the front. This one is also a zip-around. Um, you got Mushu and Cricky down there amongst the Japanese cherry blossoms, which is like a garden scene. So you do get some of the characters on the front of this wallet. 
Backside here. Okay, this is a really cool scene. This is going to be Li Shang and Mulan on the back. Looks like in a, a garden scene. Again, look at the colors on that. Absolutely vibrant. Disney Lounge Flight Enamel Badge. Looks very good. I love this. Okay, so I can confirm that the Lilo and Stitch wallet and mini backpack are both glow in the dark. Now, the glow in the dark features on this wallet are going to be the stars. Okay, so this is the Lilo and Stitch Space Adventure. Looks like it's a half size zip around wallet. Okay, you're going to have a stitch there in a rocket ship. And then you have Lilo there behind. This is going to be a vegan leather applique that's put on the front of the wallet. Backside has Space Adventure. Very, very similar to the mini backpack. Pretty much has the same type of details that the mini backpack does. Uh, black enamel badge on this with the Disney Loungefly logo. Silver hardware. Okay, this looks like another snap closure wallet. This is going to be for the Donald Duck cosplay. You got Donald Duck here on the front. Couple vegan leather appliques going on with his beak, his eyes, and his hat. I see some embroidery around the eyebrows. All the little details that we expect from Loungefly's core catalog. Let's see the backside. Okay, the backside is the continuation of Donald Duck's sailor outfit. This looks mostly to be printed on. You're going to have the Disney Loungefly enamel badge on the back in white. Looks very nice, very crisp looking. Okay, this is gorgeous. I absolutely love the colors on this. This is going to be the Disney Princess Tattoo zip around wallet. This one again looks like it's either a half size or three quarter size. Sometimes it's hard to tell in these pictures. That one kind of looks a little bit bigger than half. Um, but again, you're going to have the Disney princesses. And pretty much they go all the way up to uh, Moana. Moana? Moana. I'm going to say it right this time. Last, my last video, I said it completely wrong. So you got Moana. And then you have all the Disney princesses like Aurora, Pocahontas, Tiana, Mulan, Cinderella. Snow White's on there as well. They have a couple of little uh, appliques going on here with scalloped edges around the badge and around the bottom part of the wallet. Um, it's gorgeous. I like. I love it when they do those kind of little details, especially around the badge. I've seen them do scalloped edges before, but never anything with the holes punched out like this, which is cool. Backside, here's some more of our princesses. Looks like this one has gold hardware. The scalloped edge continues onto the backside. There's Snow White I see there. Okay, let's skip to the next. This is a definitely a half size zip around for Woody and Bo Peep. This is for our matching Toy Story backpack. Really gorgeous color blue. I love the blue on this. I think they absolutely nailed this. It looks like there might be some embroidery going on on this, maybe with Woody's scarf, uh, the flower that's in Woody's hand or on uh, Bo Peep's dress. And uh, looks like her, her uh, headband is also embroidered and so is Woody's hat. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is going to be uh, the back of the wallet. I love this hugging scene. It's really, really cute. Again, this is going to be a stylized version of Toy Story characters. So it's not the original artwork, but it, it, you can definitely tell who they are, right? It's definitely super, super cute. you got Buzz, Jesse, Bullseye, Hammy, Slinky Dog, which is my kid's favorite. Uh, you have Woody, Rex, and Bo Peep all on the backside of this one. Pixar Loungefly badge. Really nice looking wallet. Okay, this is going to be the Yizma in cat form. This is a rendering. This is not the real photos. They don't have the real image out yet, so they don't must not have it in stock, at least their sample yet. So this is going to be the Yizma kitty cat um, half-size zip-around wallet. Again, the front here with uh, Yizma in cat form is going to be a vegan leather applique. What I can see is the little potion there. It seems to be kind of speckly, so I'm hoping that maybe they're putting some glitter on that. It would probably make sense to do that there. The back side is going to have Cusco. Okay, and it's a nice dark purple color. Looks like the enamel badges on the back. Also a nice dark purple color. This is the inside of this wallet. Oh man, the lining is so good. It almost looks like a, kind of like a, a bandana type style print on that. So you got Yizma there, all over print. A nice dark purple. I'm a big fan of the villains. I like all the villain stuff, probably because I'm really partial to the dark colors that the villain stuff gets, the purples, the blacks, the grays. Um, yeah, this looks really good. Okay, so the next one here is going to be the Turning Red Panda 
Now, we haven't seen this movie yet. It is coming out in March, I believe. This is, again, going to be another rendering. The mini backpack pretty much is a cosplay of the panda as well and is going to have a little plush tail. So this one here, it looks like they have applique ears coming off the top. Silver hardware. Backside. I can't tell if that's just going to be a solid orange or if they actually did an ombre on that. Sometimes with these renderings, it's a little bit harder to tell. Um, I'd probably err on just saying that it's going to be probably like a solid orange color. Okay, I can't wait to see this movie. This movie looks like it's going to be really cute. It's, I think it's coming straight to Disney+. Plus. So if you, if you have Disney+, Plus, you should be able to watch it on Disney+. Plus. I don't know if it's going to be a premium add-on type thing or not. We'll find out. This is the inside. Super cute. I don't know a lot of the characters' names yet because I've only seen uh, the uh, commercial or the TV spot a few times. Okay, so right here you're going to have uh, the cutout for the ID. is going to be in the shape of a panda silhouette, which is really cute. Uh, again, this is going to be a hat. looks like a half size. Uh, was it zip around on this? Let me go back. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a zip around. Okay, next one. We have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Again, this is going to be for the trilogy backpack. I can confirm. I checked it out. The trilogy backpack is 13 and a half inches. So it is the same size which I thought it should be, it would be, because they can't really shrink it down, as the uh, Star Wars Trilogy backpack, okay? So it is going to be on the larger size, 13 and a half inches. To give you an idea of scale on that, uh, a 13 and a half inch backpack, a school backpack is 16 inches. So it's literally only two and a half inches smaller. So for a mini backpack, it's definitely on the larger size. Okay, it looks like the wallet on this got a really cool original uh, artwork there from the real characters, real life photos. I'm liking this. It's going to have the cross hatch, hatch texturing to the leather. This is going to be another zip around, half size or three quarter. Back side, you can see really see the cross hatch texturing on the on the leather there. Harry Potter Loungefly logo, and it's going to be stamped with the gold Hogwarts crest. Pretty cool. I like that. Oh yeah, this is so awesome. Okay, Marvel. This is going to be the uh, Doctor Strange. Half size zip around wallet. This one does have glow in the dark features. Doctor Strange is a vegan leather applique. The glow in the dark features are going to be his little ring around that he has in his hand. That's going to be the glow in the dark features on this. Um, you can see the glow in the dark features on our website, madbagger.com. You can go check it out and you can see all the, all the images. There's a lot of images. I want to say for all the uh, real life photos, product, I think we have like six or seven images for each product. Backside, here's that really nice galaxy print. Uh, the way that they do that on the leather is awesome. And then you have the Doctor Strange logo. This one also is, it's, again, it's going to be badged without the Loungefly name on it, which is okay because you got to be able to fit that whole Marvel Studios, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. Uh, you got to be able to fit that all in there. So if they tried to put the Loungefly in there, it would just be way too tiny. You would never be able to know what it says. Or it would be almost impossible to produce. I don't know. Next one, SpongeBob jumping jellyfish. You have SpongeBob riding jellyfish, nice pastel colors. This is a zip around half size wallet. Patrick also on a jellyfish, and I believe that's Gary the Snail down there. Um, I didn't watch SpongeBob that much, but I know SpongeBob is a really beloved cartoon character. People almost say he's almost as recognizable, if not more recognizable, than even Mickey Mouse, which to me just blows my mind because. Mickey Mouse, he's been around for so long, and I grew up with him, so... But I guess it's just a different generation thing. So this is going to be SpongeBob, super cute pastel colors. Can't wait to see what this looks like in person. This is another rendering, guys. Okay, you're going to have the inside with SpongeBob riding and, and Patrick riding the jellyfish. Now, remember, this is jumping jellyfishing. Okay, now that's not a mouthful. It does have a rainbow, looks like pastel color pockets, and it does have the clear slot for ID, which... For, for a wallet, for me, that's like a, it's pretty much for me, it's a must. You got to have that. Okay, this is going to be the SpongeBob, or not the SpongeBob, sorry. This is going to be the Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues, red chair. So this matches the uh, blue from Blue's Clues uh, cosplay mini backpack. I know a lot of people are really excited about this. It's going to be another half-size zip around. You have the iconic red chair on the front there. Uh, they got the little spiral binding going on, so it's kind of supposed to look like a little notebook which is, I think, is a really cute little play. Backside, there. Backside, you get blue, which is super cute. Nickelodeon lounge fly badged on the back. Okay, this is going to be for Valfrey. Valfrey. This one is pretty neat. This is, I would imagine this is going to be the same as the backpack, which is going to be that shiny 
patent leather, which would be kind of more of that uh, really slick, plasticky type leather. Okay, they've got all these uh, these 50 or 60s. I don't know, is it 50s or 60s? Uh, Pinup style girls with tattoos. Black and pink on this. They did do contrast stitching. The zipper pull on this, if you see off to the side there, the bottom left, it looks like they did like a hot pink, a metal hot pink, which I think is really cool. Um, I'm surprised they don't do more colors like this and more like rose gold. A lot of times they stick with just the gold, the silver, or uh, the antique brass. So I definitely like the way that the zipper pull looks with that um, hot pink going on there. Okay, NBA stuff. I'm going to go through these kind of quick because I want to get to the cross bodies. But we'll go over the details on one of them. They're pretty much all the same silhouette. Um, and each team got one. And then um, and then it just kind of has their team's colors and their logos on it, okay? So uh, this one has a double closure. It does have a snap closure. And it also has a zipper closure for the Lakers. They have the metal Lakers logo there on the, uh, the strap that comes across the zipper part. You're going to have the Lakers colors, which, of course, is the gold and yellow. And then uh, it is a zip around. and looks like silver hardware. I think silver hardware pretty much on all these NBA ones. Backside is going to be badged NBA lounge fly yellow. Really nice Lakers colors. Here's the Chicago, Chicago Bulls. Again, the metal bowl, pretty much the same silhouette. Love the Chicago Bulls. I used to always play as the Chicago Bulls back when Super Nintendo, when you had, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Was it NBA Shootout? It's one of those games. But I always used to pick the Bulls because the, the Bulls always had the better players. Okay, so if you're if you're in from my generation, you're definitely going to appreciate Chicago Bulls. Uh, Boston Celtics, very nice metal badge there. Boston Celtics logos and colors. NBA Loungefly logo on the back. New York Knicks. All right, you got the little Knicks logo. Knicks colors, orange and blue. NBA logo on the back. The Brooklyn Nets. I love the Brooklyn Nets colors, black and white. You can't go wrong. It's classic. Okay, super cool. NBA logo on the back, black and white. It's uh, Philadelphia 76ers. Nice red, white, and blue color wallet. NBA lounge fly on the back. Okay, we're getting to the crossbodies now. This is going to be the Winnie the Pooh crossbody, the Gingham style uh, plaid print crossbody. This one is a cosplay of Winnie the Pooh. It does have some really cute little bumblebees coming off the uh, strap there. I would imagine those are going to be vegan leather. This is a rendering, so they don't have the real photos in yet. This is going to be a leather strapped crossbody. I like to mention that because sometimes the chain ones, they're not as adjustable as the leather ones. This one does have an adjustable clasp where you can change the length. And Launch Flight is really, really good with, uh, with the measuring of all their straps and stuff because they usually fit perfectly right there at the waist. But if you need to adjust it, you can adjust. Disney Lounge Fly on the uh, backside enamel badge. Plaid print. Okay, this is going to be a Mulan cinch closure crossbody. This one is going to be, it looks like a mix of two different types of fabrics. Vegan leather. And you're going to have some sort of like satiny looking material up top. You're going to have embroidery going around the edge there with the Japanese cherry blossoms. You got Mushu and Cricky on this, just like the backpack. Okay, again, this one's not going to have the LED features, but if you definitely are more into the crossbodies, this is a super cute option. Backside, you're going to have Li Shang and Mulan, Disney Loungefly enamel badge. Okay, Donald Duck. This one is super, super cute, and it has an extra little feature on there. On the strap on this one, this one has uh, Donald Duck's hat as a coin purse, okay? And that coin purse is removable. So most crossbodies are usually between $60 and $70, but because this one has a removable feature that is pretty much a standalone feature if you take it off, it, it usually goes up a little bit in price. It's the same as like when they do the backpacks with the ears or the backpacks with the removable fanny packs and all those kind of things. It usually puts the price up a little bit more, but you're basically getting two items for one on this. So you get Donald Duck cosplay, vegan leather, lots of appliques going on, and then uh, you have that little coin purse you kind of see off to the left there. That has little clasps. It comes off really easy. You can see more photos of it, again, on our website. Donald Duck backside here is going to be uh, pretty much vegan leather, blue and white. Disney Loungefly enamel badge. Here is the chain crossbody. This is a chain crossbody for tattooed Disney princesses. 
scalloped edges, nice bright pink chain. We've seen them do that, like an ombre chain on, I think, Pusheen stuff. This one has like a, probably like a, looks like a stiffer type handle up there on the top. Uh, looks like it's a fold over envelope style closure with a uh, magnetic closure more than likely. This chain crossbody does have leather feature where it has an adjustable uh, feature to it where you could adjust the length, which is nice to know. Back side, see with the, with the crossbodies, a lot of times you get a lot more surface area. So you're gonna get a lot of the princesses on the one side. Um, pretty much both sides were probably pretty much covered in princesses. Scalloped edges along the uh, enamel badge again. Okay, I think this is our last crossbody. This is gonna be the Los Angeles Lakers crossbody. Okay, this is the only basketball team that got a crossbody. It makes sense for them to get the crossbody because Loungefly, uh, the design department and some of their headquarters is down here in Los Angeles. They are also based out of Washington. Everett, Washington, I think is Funko's headquarters. But I'm not sure. I think the corporate headquarters for Loungefly is here in Los Angeles. So a lot of times when they're testing sports teams, they usually do like the sports teams that are based out of, um, out of here, out of LA. So Lakers here, nice Lakers colors. This is going to be embossed, Los Angeles Lakers logo. And backside, NBA Loungefly in yellow. Again, embossed logo, uh, lettering on the back there of the Los Angeles Lakers logo. Okay, guys, that is it. That is it for the wallets and for the crossbodies for this uh, for this video. I'm going to do a third video. We're going to do a third video. That third video is going to be all the small accessories. Okay, the small accessories. This was a really, really big catalog this month. There was a total of 75 new items, including the small accessories. 55 of them were from the core catalog, and another 20 of them came out of the small accessory catalog. So look for part three if you want to see all the lanyards, pins, and now if you want to watch the backpacks, find uh, part one. The part one should be up already. Part two is going up, and then I'm going to film part three probably in a day or two, okay? All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm going to continue to keep making uh, videos for the new catalogs and for uh, just individual products. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.